there it is. What you're looking at is what is commonly known as a radon detection device. And that is what we are going to talk about in this video. And we're going to start right after the intro. Alrighty, for those of you who aren't aware, uh, Rosie and I are in the process of selling our home, which we've been in for 17 years, and buying a new home, which is closer to family members, so that uh, if we need some help uh, as we get older and get closer to our final reward, uh, someone will be there to give us some assistance if we need it. And uh, if you've ever sold a house before, or bought a house before, you're probably aware that it can be a very stressful uh, event, or series of events. And uh, one of the things that uh, we have learned is that uh, don't be surprised if there are surprises along the way on your journey. We have an offer on this house, and uh, a few years ago, the EPA uh, alerted the American people that radon existed uh, in homes, and naturally it exists in homes because it exists everywhere in the world, and uh, some of it is going to seep its way into houses. and that's natural and it can be totally harmless if the levels are low enough but if the levels get up above what they call the action level which is four picocuries per liter then the EPA says that that's dangerous and if someone is going to sell a home that has that level of radon in it they need to install what's called a radon mitigation device, which typically can cost a homeowner about a thousand to twelve hundred dollars. As the, as the uh, time has passed, uh, more and more people have become aware of this, and uh, realtors are aware of it, and a lot of times they recommend to their customers, you should probably have a radon test on that house before you buy it. Uh, the buyer, who may be totally, uh, I don't want to say ignorant, but totally uh, unaware of uh, what radon even is, will sometimes uh, be scared by that and go ahead and order a radon test, which is what our buyer did. And uh, the inspector came by uh, a couple of days ago and put that uh, uh, radon detection device that I showed you earlier in the basement and uh, started it up and it's been recording uh, the radon levels through the air samples it takes in ever since. Now I've done some research on radon myself and uh, what I have learned is that uh, radon is found in every home and uh, it's more prevalent uh, if a test is done it will it will show more radon in the colder months when the house is closed up because the radon seeps in from below like if you have a sump pump it'll come in uh, that way or the around your foundation where the floor meets the the foundation walls it comes in through there and uh, it also comes in more prevalently when there's a snow cover on the ground or when it's been raining. Now when the man came out and put the radon detection device in our basement there was about five or six inches of snow on the ground. 
And since he put it in there, it's been raining ever since. So I am not going to be surprised if we, uh, if the analysis of our air samples uh, shows a uh, range be above four pico curies per liter. And uh, I'm going to call foul on that because if he had tested it in June or July, uh, it probably wouldn't have shown anywhere near that level. So if it does come back at four or higher, um, and the buyers insist on us putting in and paying for a radon mitigation device, I may just tell them to go fly a kite because we've already come down enough. They're getting this house, uh, if they buy it, uh, at below what it should sell for. So, uh, I'm kind of thinking that the radon scare is somewhat similar to the climate change scenario which i also think is bogus so i don't know how you feel about that leave a comment let me know what you think and uh i think that's about it for now uh the uh, radon detection device is still going on and uh, we'll find out probably tomorrow what uh, what the results are so uh, I may get back with you uh, with another video very soon to let you know what we found out uh, I do have some more videos to show you of the house that we are considering and uh, I think that's it for now so until I speak with you again and even after that you stay focused.